Hey everybody, welcome back to Live It Out. Hey, uh, just want to encourage you, if you are reading through the Bible and you're kind of feeling a little, I don't know, maybe blah, like it's just something that you're doing, live it out. Do what it says. Now, it's funny because we're reading through the Old Testament, I'm telling you, go and kill your neighbors who don't know Jesus and, you know, all that. But follow God. He is the miracle worker. He is the one that makes things right even when you're not sure what he's doing. Hey, we looked at Gideon, and uh, maybe you've heard Gideon's story, maybe not, but the angel of the Lord found Gideon hiding and called him a mighty warrior. God knows who you are. He loves you, and he wants you, and he's gonna do great things in your life. So what happens when we follow God? How would he transform us from being a hider to a hero, from a warrior to a warrior? The way he'll do that? is by meeting with us, giving him time with himself and giving us time to know him and to follow him and to walk with him. That he would transform us through meeting with us, through testing us, and that can look really rough, lots of ways, but he trusts his own power and his own authority to test us, even if it seems like, well, God, you seem weak because I'm being tested. No. He's stronger because we can rely on him even in that testing. Let him refine you. Let him make you who he wants you to be. Let him test you. And then finally he fills us. He fills us with his Holy Spirit, his power, his people. We're called to do some amazing things and they saw amazing things happen. If you're his person or you want to be his person, submit to him. Meet with him. Let him test you. Let him fill you. And here's the thing, I've been thinking about this. There's a lot of people who go, oh my goodness, God called people to do really horrendous things. He called people to kill other people and children and even the cattle and all that. And why would he do that? I don't know if I can follow a God who's like that. Listen, if God said to wipe out that which was unholy, does it make sense to be unholy? Does it? Does it make sense to dishonor him? Trust him. The only way you can be holy is to rely on him, submit to him, and praise God he sent his son Jesus. So what's the live it out challenge for you this week? Really, let God be your God. Don't be unholy. Don't try and do your thing your way. Trust him. And if you're not reading the Bible, jump in. Start anywhere. If, if you're not wanting to start with us because you are kind of like against that, go to the New Testament then. Start in the book of Matthew. Go to Acts. Go to Mark. Go to James. Go somewhere. Spend time with God. He loves you. Meet with Him. Let Him test you. And let Him fill you. God bless you. Love God. Love others. And serve generously. See you next week.